you will recall the Kia Borrego, a body-on-frame SUV introduced by the Korean manufacturer at the colossally wrong moment. Fuel prices skyrocketed, the economy tanked, and the Borrego was shuffled off to the glue factory after a single model year. Hardly the machine's fault, then. In 2016, Kia showed off Kia Telluride concept, a full-sized of SUV with a lantern jaw. With American buying habits consistently trending in that direction, it may be an opportune moment for Kia to re-enter the segment. Kia Telluride concept first showed up at the 2016 Detroit show as a 3.5-litre V6 plug-in hybrid. Electrified vehicles are definitely in vogue right now big SUV even more so. This is a big bus, measuring 196.9 inches in length and 70.9 inches tall. That's more than half a foot longer than a Grand Cherokee and an inch taller. It's even a couple of inches longer than a modern Land Cruiser, although it is three inches shorter in terms of height. At Detroit this week, Hyundai Kia Chief Design Officer Peter Schreer is reported as having confirmed the Telluride was being turned into a production model. There's little doubt that the suicide doors and gonzo taillights won't get past the beam counters. And certain design elements of the interior won't see the light of production day either, but the overall shape is quite appealing. Sunken headlights that bookend a Kia corporate grille remind this author of sealed beam headlamps on older Detroit machinery. Off-road Shops are as yet untested, and Kia has made no effort to reveal under the promise of advanced all-wheel drive. Its hybrid engine is right on the money given current consumer tastes. Kia's own site bills the Telluride as having seven seats in three rows, a familiar configuration found in vehicles parked on suburban driveways across America. The magical 30 mile per gallon figure is mentioned on multiple occasions. Kia has been making a name for itself in recent years constantly revamping its lineup and going out on a limb with cars like the Stinger. While a machine like Kia Telluride might have been a bit outside the company's wheelhouse a few years ago, it definitely has the chops and hoots to pull it off today.